What's up guys, it's Kristen, here today with the unpopular opinions book tag. And I'm sure this goes without saying, but of course the title of this tag is Unpopular Opinions. I will be talking about my dislike for very well-loved books, and I hope that nobody gets offended by this. This is all just in good fun, everyone loves a rant once in a while, and that is also the beauty of books, that they are so subjective and every person brings a different experience to a book. And so the first question for this tag is of course a popular book or series that you really didn't like. And I am well aware with this one that I might be the only person on the face of the earth who did not love this book. I'm very sorry, but it was The Martian by Andy Weir. This one is mostly due to the writing style and my personal taste. I like very lyrical, poetic writing, which is not what this book is like, and I didn't have a problem with the science jargon or anything, I just found it was way too much info dumping instead of focusing on moving the story along, so I started to get incredibly bored, though I did actually love the movie for this one. And the second question is actually the opposite, it's a popular book or series that everyone else seems to hate, but you love. And for this one, I'm going with Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. I feel like this book gets a lot of hate, and I do get it because I remember when I first read it, I thought, oh my gosh, what a dark, depressing, horrible book. Why would anybody ever wanna read this? But now, in retrospect, I kind of love it, and I find it absolutely amazing that Emily Bronte could write these horrible, vile, almost unredeemable characters, but still have you care about them, at least in some way, and want to find out what happens to them next, and I think she's just absolutely brilliant. I like unlikable characters, and super unpopular opinion time, I like Wuthering Heights better than Jane Eyre. Then the next question is a love triangle where the main character did not end up with the person that you wanted to see them end up with, of course, spoiler alerts, but I am always going to say Joe and Teddy from Little Women. This is the first ship that I ever had to watch sink when I read this as a 12 year old and it broke my heart then, it still breaks my heart now. I don't like who Joe ends up with and I really don't like who Teddy ends up with and I feel like I'm just never gonna forgive you, Louisa May Alcott, for doing this to me. And the fourth question is a popular genre that you rarely reach for and this one for me is definitely mystery slash thriller. I don't know why, but I'm sure that I'm missing out on some really great reads with that. Then the next question is a popular or beloved character that you don't like, and I am very sorry, but it is Severus Snape. I obviously didn't like him the whole time through the series, clearly, and I vividly remember reading that scene in Deathly Hollows where you find out about his whole past and the truth behind everything, and I was just kind of like, okay, but that still doesn't excuse all the other horrible things that you did, Severus. And I feel like there's kind of this split in the fandom between people who love Snape and people who don't agree with him, so I do get the other side of it, but I will just never see him in a positive light. Then for a popular author that you can't seem to get into, I'm going with Brandon Sanderson. I have read the first two books in the Mistborn trilogy and I just don't seem to click with his writing style. I could not get invested in the story. I really don't have any interest in finishing the series. And for question number seven, it is a popular book trope that you are just tired of seeing and for me this is definitely the gay best friend or any LGBTQ character whose only role seems to be as an accessory to the protagonist and of course they should be fully fleshed out protagonists themselves and Lee Reader just did an excellent video on this topic. I will link that down below as he goes in much more in depth on the topic and it's something that really needs to change in literature. And then for a popular book or series that you have no interest in reading, that would be The Hunger Games, obviously by Suzanne Collins. I know you're thinking, Kristen, what? You didn't read The Hunger Games? No, I never read them and here's the story. It started off as my little silent protest. I read the Japanese book Battle Royale by Koshin Takami. I absolutely loved it, and I think most people know there is a lot of similarities between the stories, so when it first came out, I was really angry and I would not read it, but since then, I understand, though, Suzanne Collins did not steal the story. There are a lot of differences 
between them. But now I've seen all of the movies and I know that they are incredibly faithful to the books, so it's kind of just pointless now. And the last question is, the saying goes, the book is always better than the movie, but what movie or TV show adaptation do you find to be better than the book? And weirdly enough, thinking about this question, I felt like I actually came up with several answers. Of course, I already mentioned The Martian, but there are a few more books, so I'll give you my top three on this one. The first book being Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. There is a 90s film of this with Nicole Kidman and Sandra Bullock that I have watched every Halloween since I can remember. It is one of my favorite movies and I was actually so excited when I found out years later that there was a book to go with the movie but they're actually very different from each other and of course I preferred the movie much more. Then I also preferred the movie adaptation to Perfume, the Story of a Murderer by Patrick Susskind. It is a 2006 movie starring Ben Whishaw and I did an entire video about my book to movie comparison of these two so I will link that below if you want to hear more of my thoughts on it. And lastly I preferred the movie Gone Girl to the book by Gillian Flynn. It was directed by David Fincher who is one of my favorite directors and I did read the book first. I enjoyed it. I didn't love it though but watching the movie I was completely engrossed even though I knew everything that was going to happen and it is incredibly faithful because Gillian Flynn wrote the screenplay but I just thought it worked better as a visual medium. So that is it for my very unpopular opinions. Of course I would love to hear about some books or series that everyone else seems to love and you really don't like. Please leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!